Okay, so the first thing I want to do is take the bobbin off so we can get some yarn on it and we can start spinning. This is really handy the way this works. Flip the front of the, of the head down, remove the scotch tension band, and there you go. Bobbin's free. I'm going to hold it here for Rachel. She's going to go ahead and attach the yarn and okay. watch her very carefully and you'll see how it should be done. Actually, I have a really nice little trick for this. First, I take a really long piece of yarn and I fold it in half. And then I go ahead and I put the bobbin in the middle there and pull one end through the loop on the other side. Cinch that down a little bit. Now that's pretty good. The yarn's attached, but it'll spin on the bobbin. So how you can fix that is to make another fold in the yarn and pull it up through the second loop and then cinch that down nice and tight and that'll give you some traction there on the bobbin so it won't spin on you. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and put the bobbin back on the flyer and I'll put my tension band back on the bobbin and just close up the back just like that. Now I'm just going to scoot that down a little bit and we want to thread it through the orifice here so I'm going to grab out the little threading hook. It's very nice how it, it stores itself right there and I'll pull it through this first the hole in the guide and then I'm going to thread it through this little bridge here. I want to make sure that I go from the outside to the inside so that it's a straight line. Okay, And then I'm going to tilt this forward here a little bit. What I'm going to do now is thread it through the, the main orifice and I'm just going to pull that through if I can. I think I missed one. Oops. I'll get it here. This yarn's being stubborn. There we go. And I'm just using a, just a pretty average sport weight wool yarn. Um, I like to use wool as a starter yarn because it has a little more grab, helps you get the, the fiber started on there a little bit easier. And then I'll just put the threading hook back and you're ready to start spinning. All right, now that we've gotten everything put together and our leader thread's on and it's threaded through, we are all set to go. I've got my fiber here, so I'm just going to pick up my thread here, make sure that you might need to get help yourself get your wheel started in the right direction. And first, I'm just going to kind of get a feel for the action of the treadle. And I'm also going to see how my tension is. I think I don't really have enough tension. So I'm getting a lot of coiling up. It's not really pulling it in as fast as I'd like. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to turn my tension knob a little bit just so that it stretches out the rubber band here a little bit more, okay? And that's going to put a little more drag on the bobbin. Let's try it and see how that feels. Much better. So I can pull it out, but it'll also go in very easily. Now I've got my fiber. One of the first things I like to do is to pull off a piece and get it separated. Okay, after I do that, and kind of make sure it's thin enough. And I'm going to grab my thread here and I'm going to go ahead and get it attached. I'm just going to hold it right up here right next and let those fibers catch. Okay, and then I like to use a semi-worsted uh, drafting for most of my most of my yarn that I, I make. So I'm 
All right. So I think you guys basically have a pretty good idea on how the wheel itself works. Now I'm just going to talk about a couple of the attachments that come with the wheel. The first one I'm going to look at is the Lazy Kate. Now this is a really useful tool, uh, especially if you want to make yarn with multiple plies in it, which most most knitters like that. So um, certainly not you just certainly don't have to, but most people do. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and, and put all three of these bobbins on so I can demonstrate. We have a little rubber band over here, and then. We've got this holder and our adjustment knob over here. So I'm going to do is thread the yarn through all of the grooves on the backs of the bobbins, just like that. And this is a little bit tight. See how stretched out that rubber band is? So I'm going to ease up the tension there a little bit. We just want to put enough tension on it so that the bobbins don't spin freely. They still should spin pretty easily, but they'll stop. And this is particularly useful when you're plying because it keeps a little bit of tension on those singles and keeps them from twisting up on themselves and getting tangled while you're trying to ply them. The wheel also comes with the fast flyer. There's not a lot uh, to, to changing to this flyer. When you're ready to do it, you just break off your yarn here. I'm going to put that on there. And just fold down the back, undo your tension string, pull off the bobbin. Now what I like to do is I like to take, so that I don't have to re-thread it around the wheel, I like to take the drive band and just kind of rest it up here on top of this piece, this wooden piece, while I'm working. So then I'll take out the regular flyer, and I'll go ahead and, and put the fast flyer on, and you can see it's got the small smaller whirls up here, which are going to give us a quicker ratio. Now you may have noticed the yarn guides. Now this can go on either side. It really doesn't make a huge difference. It's kind of personal preference. I usually keep mine over here. If I can get it on there. There we go. All right. And then, oh, I need a bobbin. Oh, there it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the bobbin back on, put my tension band up, fold it up there, and you're all set to go with the fast flyer. One of the things that we didn't really have time to go over today was the plying head for the Lendrum. Now this is particularly useful in making large skeins of plied yarn or really getting creative with lumpy or chunky yarns. You can do lots of things with some bulky, bulky yarns on this and it's really, really great. Um, we will be doing one a segment about it in the future, so keep an eye out for that. And hopefully we gave you a good start on how to get spinning with your Lendrum. And happy spinning! Oh.